So in order to understand our new suppressor line, we need to understand how we got here. Kind of the lineage of this new suppressor line evolves from a couple of military programs. The primary program was a suppressed upper receiver group for the US Army. The suppressed upper receiver group was a very arduous test with an impetus on low toxic blowback gases into the operator's face, as well as a heavy duty, high volume, high pressure um, suppressor. Out of necessity to meet the requirements of the US military, SIG decided that they were not going to be able to meet that with traditional either welded baffle or stacked baffle suppressor design, and we had to move into some advanced manufacturing techniques. SIG evolved into direct metal laser sintering or printing our cans to really give us the design freedom that was necessary to meet and optimize those specific requirements that the US military had. Up until now, most optimization within the suppressors really evolved around sound suppression and then some flash. So with having that design freedom within the printed cans really allowed us to reroute or map our gases to ensure that the majority of gases are evacuated out the muzzle end rather than having equal gases go out the muzzle and then back through the bore into the chamber and into the shooter's face. So the mapping of those gases has allowed our SIG low-tox suppressors to really focus on how do we minimize those gases. So our SLX and SLH line optimize that performance characteristic while still managing to address sound suppression and flash. Now you might ask what the difference is between the two um, suppressors. Our SLX suppressor is optimized for that toxic fume blowback gas. In fact, it reduces between 70 and 80 percent of blowback gases into the shooter's face. In the surge program, they had a desire to get the surge upper receiver to emit the same amount of gases that an M4 does unsuppressed. A very lofty goal. The SLX suppressor actually emits less gas than an unsuppressed M4 into the shooter's face. Now there's obviously the benefit to the shooter for that, but it's also less pressure into the system, which increases long-term durability of the weapon system because we have less pressure going back into the bolt carry and affecting bolt carry velocities. The SLH suppressor, although still managing to um, lessen that toxic gas blowback, was optimized for sound. The SLH suppressor emits about 50% of, of the toxic fume blowback into the weapon system compared to 70 or 80 for the SLX line, but is much more efficient on the reduction of sound. So when we look at our low tox suppressors, obviously you can tell we're optimizing the toxic blowback gases. However, there's an inverse relationship between the gases and sound. As you manage the gases and route them out the muzzle end, with more gas escaping, it's much more difficult to suppress the sound compared to if you weren't. Our SLX line of suppressors maximize toxic fume blowback, but still give adequate sound suppression compared to our SLH suppressors, which optimize sound reduction, but still manage the backflow of those toxic fume gases. So we've talked about our suppressors, you know, SLX, SLH, we've talked about the optimization of the toxic fume blowback gases, but you know, we really haven't really talked about the details specifically to them. Um, the SLX suppressor is made of Inconel, which is a, a high pressure, high temp resistant material, which really allows for everyday use for the standard AR-15, AR-10, uh, standard pressure ammunition, high pressure ammunition, high volumes of uh, high volume firing, it's a very durable suppressor and we're, and we're getting 12 to 15,000 rounds of durability in a standard military firing schedule. So full auto, uh, rapid semi-auto firing. So we're really proud about the long-term durability of it, but also still managing that gas and sound. When you get to the SLH line of suppressors, you have a, an option of both Inconel and titanium. We brought titanium into the SLH line of suppressors for the strength to weight ratio. Not everyone wants a more heavy durable uh, suppressor. And you know, the SLH suppressor really, it fits all types of ammunitions from supersonic to subsonic. But if you're an individual who's gonna do a lot of subsonic firing, you're probably gonna to wanna to favor the SLH line of suppressors. However, both are great at what they do, all right? They both reduce sound and they both reduce gas. They're just optimized a little bit differently to give you options. And when we talk about options within the suppressor line, let's talk about our mounting options. So as you can see, we have direct thread and we have a QD. With QD attachments, one of the things that's really difficult is repeatability, whether that's accuracy or shift. And so 
Although we put a ton of time into the optimization and in core design and baffle work, we put equal amount of time in our QD attachment. We call it our clutch lock system. Our clutch lock system is a system that um, taper seals onto the muzzle device to prevent any particulates from getting back into the mechanism. And then when it locks, it rotates three cams into a relationship on the flat bearing surface of the muzzle device. And as those cams engage that bearing surface, they bite into it. And if you were to try to loosen the can, they continue to tighten upon themselves. Another feature that you wanna look at, all of our SLX suppressors come with a flash hiding end cap, which dissipates flash and minimizes the flash from the muzzle end to whatever you're shooting at. You'll see some other features. Every single one of our suppressors is engraved with the caliber on the outside. We want to ensure that we give you as the end user as many options as possible to optimize the application of your suppressor to what you're trying to accomplish. Whether that's a short, high pressure, low tox uh, suppressor or a long, lightweight subsonic suppressor for 300 blackout. Direct thread, QD, SLX, SLH. The options are yours to choose from and I'm sure that you're going to find a suppressor from Sig Sauer that meets your needs. <music>